<laughs> Morning everybody. Never realised it's uh, Friday the 13th. Oh, ho. who gives a toss about numbers? Um, so I'm here uh, um, on me ancient permission again. I'm going to do the other side of a fence, which I said I was going to do the other day. And I never got round to it because I was distracted. So here we go, we'll uh, see what we can get in this little enclosure. Um, could be something, could be nothing. Yeah, I would have thought lots of people would have done this, but you never know. So without further ado, we will crack on and uh, see what we can find. Lovely area. Let's move on. Right, not a bad start at all. About five minutes since I spoke to you last. And we have a nice little uh, Buckle here, complete with a pin. I did have a, um, a buckle from not too far away, 1400s. Not sure what uh, age that one will be. Maybe the same area, but it's good to have the pin. Yeah, okie doke, we'll move on. Okay, <laughs> we've eventually come across something that's really old. Um, from that all there, we have this little mount. Um, I don't want to rub it too much because it'll just... Whatever's on there will come off. But, as you can see, we have two uh, straps two pins that would go through leather uh, it's an old uh, mount of some kind and this is what we're looking for I'll just get me back to the wind yeah very nice uh, what age it'll be I do not know um, we're in a Roman area, so there's a possibility it could be Roman. Leather strap mount. Okie doke, let's move on. Okay, from that all there, we have this uh, a very small coin. Um, I think there's Britannia on that side. And turn it over. I think it's farthing sized, but uh, can't really see who the monarch is. Although, is that 1700s uh, coming through there? Yeah, when it dries out, I suppose it'll uh, show up better. Could be George a third farthing. Seventeen looking at the screen. Seventeen twenty-five. At a guess. <laughs> but it's a nice coin. Nice to find. We'll move on. Okay. I'll be packing in soon, but uh Just got these two items to show you. If I can get all of them. Um, that looks like a decorative piece of silver. I'm not sure uh, what the decoration is, but yeah, chuffed a bit of that. That looks ancient. Just an imprint on the other side. 
won't be any hallmarks on that, I can guarantee you. And this has just come up here out of this hole. Nice little. I've not seen a button like that before. I think that's silver gilded. Uh, on the other side, it's copper alloy. So I'm thinking it's a button. So yeah, once a drought all day and then two silver items at once. Yeah, just well. The fragment was about 30 yards away and this button is just here. So we'll move on and uh, I'll do just a little bit more and then make my way back to the automobile. <laughs> See you in a bit. Okay folks, that's me uh, finished now, um, obviously not on the fields, but uh, I'll have to go back to this certain field where I got the uh, two silver items before, um, when the rains come next, just makes detecting a bit easier. Um, yeah, so I'll spin the camera around and... Uh, what you have to remember is I was out last night and all um, until 9.30 so really putting a shift in here get as much of this done while the grass is shortish uh, the sheep are still on it here and there so yeah I'll get as much done as I can um, ok let's spin this camera around and we can look at these finds. So last night was I mainly got all these coins. Um, pretty decimal half pennies. It's probably a five pence amongst there. Can't be bothered really to, to have a check. I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Just thought it was a pre-decimal half penny. Yeah, I shall. Uh, I'll give it a quick wipe now. See if we can get anything off it. Do do do. A musical interlude. La, da, da, da. Um. No, I can't really. I think it's a half. I think it's a decimal half penny. Well, my eyes are pathetic. <laughs> um, there's one of those rings there. The uh, that's you know part of the older stuff that I've been finding. Yeah. So last night was mainly. Uh, Threepenny bits, half pennies. This one I've getting today. I think I videoed it, but what it is, I do not know. Looks like a farthing, 
but it's seen better days. Um, I think that's Britannia. I mean, could be Roman yet, for all I know. Probably a George, though. Looking at that. Well, we don't know. Um, modern coinage. Yeah, that's a two bob bit. Uh, I think that's uh, yeah, nineteen fifty. Two shillings, two bob. Um, I think I, I showed these in the in the last in yesterday's video. The uh, the compass and. Uh, and then there's other bits and bobs here, a watch that came up, uh, but it's well, well gone, there's no chance of getting that working again. <laughs> uh, been digging lots of iron nails, um, I had zero discrimination, but with the Nox you can, I changed it to uh, one. So I'm I'm not digging as much iron, and there's not much chance of leaving good targets on one. I don't know what that is. That <laughs> that rung up and said, "Dig me!" So I did. Uh, and the rest is just scrap, really. Copper olive there. Olive, what are you doing there? I don't know. I'm copper. <laughs> um. And the good bits, we'll get on to the good bits, so this isn't such a long roundup. Uh, I love these, I love buckles when they come up, especially like that. That's in great condition. And that's old, with its pin. Chuffed bits of that. And this mount is really nice. Uh, as I say, God knows what the age is, but they're old. You can guarantee it. I mean, I've had everything back to Roman. And uh, an Iron Age pin I got from there. Oops. Oh, I don't know, butterfingers. But I like this button. I think I showed this buckle in, in the last video, didn't I? Uh, Roundup-wise. Yeah, I like this. Uh, I mean, it's seen better days, but I'll give it a nice brush off when I get back. And, uh, yeah, it's very nice, that. And, well, this bit of silver. I'm presuming it's silver. It might not be yet. But, um, it rang up. And 11 on the Nox. So, um, yeah. So it's uh, in the silver range for the for the thickness of it and the size. Um, so, yeah, that's it. I'm going to be having a few days off uh, now. And, uh, you know... Uh, the old body can't really take too much <laughs> uh, abuse. So I'll have a few days off and uh, when it rains next I'll be out again. And I shall take you along with us. So uh, nothing fantastic on this hunt but there you go. Give you another swirl round. Right, I'm going to get packed up. Get yam, get me tea. <laughs> we'll see you on the next hunt. TTFN, good luck and happy hunting if you're getting out.